Good evening, and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Elizabeth Vargas. Democratic presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has his sights set on something that hasn't been done in modern U.S. history, beating the sitting president for his party's nomination for the White House. And so far, he's off to a solid start, polling at 15 percent against Joe Biden in a recent Emerson College poll. His connection to what is akin to American political royalty is right there in the name. RFK Jr.'s statements, however, on issues like vaccines and public health have critics calling him a conspiracy theorist and others asking if he is the right person for the most important job in our nation, possibly the world. Still, Kennedy believes it's his ability to take on that established power that American voters want. And that's why tonight is about you, the audience. It is your chance to ask questions and hear directly from Kennedy about the issues that matter most to you, live and unedited. And no topic is off limits. We've brought together Democratic and independent voters right here in Chicago, as well as in New Hampshire and South Carolina, the first states to cast their primary ballots in 2024. But first, everyone, please welcome me in joining Robert F. Kennedy Jr. to the stage. Let's get this part out of the way. Your voice is raspy. Why don't you explain to our audience why? I had a very, very strong voice till I was 46 years old. It was unusually strong. And I was, even at that time, I was making a lot of my income speak, doing public speaking. And I could speak to large halls without any amplification. And then in 1996, when I was 42 years old, I got struck with a disease, a neurological disease, an injury uh, called spasmodic dystonia, and it makes my voice tremble. And um, I actually, at the time, I, I didn't know what was wrong with it, but when I would go on TV, um, people would write me letters and say, you have spasmodic dystonia, and you should see Dr. Blitzer, who is the another physician who was most famous for treating it. And I ultimately went to see him, and he confirmed that I had the diagnosis. So um, I, uh, it, you know, it makes it, uh, I think it makes it problematical for people to listen to me. I cannot listen to myself on TV. I will never listen to this broadcast, and I won't <laughs> listen to any. So I feel sorry for you guys having to listen to me. All right. Uh, but uh, I, I'll say one other thing, that my, my throat was much worse. And I went to Japan with Cheryl about six months ago and had a, a novel surgery that they only do in Kyoto. And it made my voice much better, which you probably won't believe, but it was much worse than this before. So. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.